Hello everyone, today I'm going to introduce the subsidial ID function of T16D and T12D. Take T16D as an example. T16D can bind with multiple receivers. When T16D and multiple receivers have been bound successfully, and all these receivers are powered on, T16D can control all of these receivers at the same time. When subsidial ID function is turned on, T16D can control the specified device according to the selected subsidiary ID. And let's see how to set subsidiary ID function. Press mode button to enter main menu. Receiver settings. RF settings. Here is the subsidiary ID function. It is turned off by default. Turn it on. T16D supports at most 16 sub-ID, and one subsidiary ID means one receiver, and you can select the sub-ID here. The better shield function are used to receivers, R16F and R12F, and two servers are connected to the channel 1 of the two receivers separately. R16F is sub-ID 1 and R12F is sub-ID 2, and the arm stick notes on them to show the sub-ID. For R16F, it is sub-ID 1, so I select sub-ID 1 here. Now power on R16F. After powering on R16F, long press the bending button. And the LED goes solid, means the bending is down. And we can see the signal tower on the screen of the transmitter, which means the bending is successful. Here it is. And power off R16F. Now power on R12F. And R12F is sub ID2, so I need to select sub ID2 here. There is no signal tower because R12F is now bound to T16D. Now long press the bending button of R12F. The LD flashes fast. LED goes solid, means the bending is down. And we can see the signal tower on the screen of T16D, which means R12F is bound to T16D successfully. Now power on R16F and R12F at the same time. We can see R16F and R12F are powered on at the same time. And if I turn off the ID function, I can control the two receivers at the same time. And the LED of the both receivers are powered on. Move the joystick of channel 1. We can see both the two servers move at the same time. And if I only want to control one of the receiver, I just need to turn on sub ID and select the sub ID. For example, first I want to select sub ID 1, which is R16F. And we can see the ID 1 here is displayed on the screen. So move the joystick of channel 1. We can see only the server of R16F moves. If I want to control sub ID 2, I just need to select sub ID 2. And we can see ID 2 is displayed on the screen here. And move the joystick of channel 1. We can see only the server of R12F works. That is to see, even though two receivers are powered on at the same time, I can select the receiver I want to control. And that's how to set sub ID function on T16D and T12D. And you can also assign a switch to change sub ID. You can achieve it by setting condition function return advanced settings conditions. Up to three conditions can be set. And I want to assign a two position switch to control the two receivers. I want to assign a two position switch to switch two sub ID. So I set a two position switch, such as switch A, to control condition one and condition two. So condition one, I assign switch A to control it, and switch A down to control the condition two. 
And if you want to use a three position switch to switch three sub ID, you can set a three position switch to control three conditions and then enter the select setting page. And I just need to turn on the RF settings. Return. Receiver settings. RF settings. Push switch A up. Number one will displayed on the top taskbar, which means condition one. And I need to turn on sub ID and select ID one. And push switch A down. Number two will displayed on the top taskbar, which means condition two. And I need to select ID two. That is to say, when I push switch A up, it is condition 1, and the ID is ID 1. Push switch A down. It is condition 2, and the ID is ID 2. And the setting is done. Let's check if we can use switch A to switch sub ID. Push switch A up. It is condition 1, which is ID 1. And move the joystick of channel 1. Okay, so only the server of r section f works. Push switch A down. It is condition 2 and also ID 2 and move the joystick of channel 1. Because only the server of r f works. That means we can use a switch to change sub ID. And by the way, you can also set these functions here to work with different sub ID. The setting methods are the same. So that's all about how to assign your switch to change receiver ID or consist ID.